this video we'll talk about Cisco ASR series routers. Now these routers are uh, specifically designed for service border market. So they are like the router series, router series built by Cisco systems which are specific to the service border market. Now they are best suited for service border offering uh, specifically like carrier ethernet services or metro ethernet networks. They are uh, highly scalable routers especially they can scale up to 720 10 gig interfaces uh, if you're going with a specific platform of the ASR routers for each slot. Again, uh, this is like the overall, but again, each slot may vary depending upon the models. Now, the main characteristics like they do provide the layer 2 and the layer 3 Ethernet aggregation, so which allows the multiple customer routers to connect at the one cent centralized device along with the broadband aggregation as well. So they are high performance and high density Ethernet routers, especially designed for service border and enterprise applications. Now they do run IBS XR operating system. So all the platforms of ASR 9000 series, they do run the IBS XR operating system in general. Now you can visit official website of Cisco to check the different uh, models and you can compare the features and the, uh, and the feature support or or how they exactly look probably going to the Cisco website here. So I got this link here you can see these are the different uh, variations of ASR. So ASR 9000V is the virtual image which can be installed on any of the VMware box or the vSphere applications and then we can virtualize or we can we can implement we can get those benefits of the XR on a virtualized platform. Again the the specifications it varies depending upon the actual box what we are using and what are the hardware specifications of that particular box. So more suitable for small size or small size service provider or small size customers. And there are some physical boxes which are more uh, highly scalable devices. Like these are the different platforms what you'll see 9000, 9006, and 9010. So the main thing they, the 9001 generally they have one slot. That's what this number represents. Again, it's a six slot, six slot ASR router, and this is like 10, 10 slot ASR routers. And then again, we have some 9901, 9904. These, these are the different options. Now, if you try to see the specifications here, like you can see the different models, you can see all these models here, but the main specifications include like how many slots exactly they support, just a minute, like how many number of slots they support. Again, you can see there is a one slot per chassis. Again, the number of slots here, you can see six, as I said, four for line cards, which are used for connecting and the route switch processors, which are the main uh, brain of the of these devices. So I'll talk about this component a little bit more in detail in the next video. The size, one RU, and again, the bandwidth per slot and the maximum capability to support, like what is the throughput it supports. And this goes on increasing depending upon the models because the more number of slots you have obviously the more throughput you get the size the weight and then the power the specifications the fan airflow all these things and again this this is important like route switch processor or the route processor this is like the main device which which will do the actual processing and you have specific line cards these processors are included inside the line card so i'll show you this probably in a 3d view and the fabric architecture a fabric architecture is like uh, which interconnects the line cards and the operating system which is going to run is ios xr in all the platforms now you can you can go to this 3d view you can click on any one of the asr routers to check the 3d view of that particular device this is how the asr 1000 9, 9010 looks the features and when you move the cursor to a specific card you can see the different uh, specifications like this is like Ethernet line card and this is your integrated service modules for adding additional features like this you can see this is the 8 port 100 gig Ethernet card I think this is the route switch processor you can see the model 880 and there should be some redundant round processor you can see these are the two redundant, redundant route processors route switch processors in general. You can always go to this view here and you can see the front view as well as you can uh, rotate this 3D view here. 
like you can just put it this even you can zoom in as per the requirement and also you can click on any one of this uh, specific card to just see uh, how exactly we remove or insert the card and how exactly it looks like this is the ethernet uh, 40 40 port gig ethernet line card and you can read the specifications from here and you can see so just like a switch ports but mostly this will be like a uh, laser ports you can see fiber optic uh, connectors and then you can insert back so not only this asr even most of the cisco uh, nexus or any other high-end platforms have this 3d view if you go to cisco website you will probably see them now the next thing is like if you want to get some more details on the specifications of individual platforms like let's say you want to you already have a specific platform and you want to see the feature support or any kind of technical specifications you can refer to these technical documentations now this documentation will have overall details like the overview and the physical description of this particular uh, platforms what are the different platforms and you can select the appropriate platform to see the specifications so i got some of these specifications in my in my slide here Like here you can see this is a 9006 ASR router as I said the 6 tells it has 6 line cards whereas 2 are reserved for processor it has real net processors one is a primary and the other one is standby and then the other line cards now in this line cards we can add any of the specific uh, specific component like ethernet card which supports uh, gig ports typically or maybe you can add some integrated service module for adding additional uh, features or you can add any other cards which are supported so I'll, I'll just give an overview on that in the next video where i'll be covering more on this components of of this asr routers and the only difference between them the size will vary the specifications will vary the throughput will vary but again this has 10 slots and the same thing the if you if you see the other models here you can see these are the different different components here you can see 9000 is a four slot chassis and 9922 is is the highest model i think so which has 22 slot chassis with a redundant pair of uh, route processing cards and then fabric cards probably and then 20 line cards so this is how physically it looks the size here you can see and of course the throughput is very very high in the high end mode.